My souvenir journey started almost three years ago when my wife started noticing changes in my memory. I was also experiencing headaches and migraines more and more. Uh, my dear wife had said she'd been noticing this for uh, some time and we thought we should quickly get it looked into so we had an appointment to see a, a um, actually a neurologist in the first instance and he said no there's no neurological problem as such but he said I should go and see someone who specialises in things like Alzheimer's disease and so I trotted off to see him and he said yes that's what you've got and it all started from there. 50 years as a paediatric oncologist have had prepared me to handle bad news like this. Um, I was happy to do whatever the advice from the experts uh, was, but I was determined not to be a burden. And I wanted to, I wanted to keep, keep going on with life as I had before the diagnosis. We met Associate Professor David Darby when I got diagnosed and he quickly suggested I try Suvenade. Since then I've been taking it every day, first thing in the morning alongside my daily crossword. Uh, I've been taking Suvenade for three years and um, I have it every morning with my breakfast. Uh, and I've been followed up by uh, the specialists looking after me on a regular basis as per their normal schedule for someone with uh, Alzheimer's disease and I was very happy to be informed that my condition had not deteriorated and in fact was uh, very stable. I feel like I'm in a happier place now that I'm taking Suvenaid. While I know it's not a cure, I feel since taking Suvenaid my deterioration has slowed and it has reduced its impact on my life.